Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is on this look right here. What else would it be? And for this look I used the Too Faced Sweet Peaches palette. Oh my god, I'm in love with this palette. It smells so good. Oh. But I was just kind of mucking around with the darker colors in this palette and came up with this look. And now I'm pretty much obsessed with it. I tried to step away from like the bronzier colors and go for the darker ones and I'm so happy with how this turned out. Oh my god. So if you guys want to see how I got this, just keep watching. So I don't really know what I'm doing today, but I know I want to use the Sweet Peach palette. Oh my god, this smells so good guys. I kind of want to eat it. So I think I want to use like the darker colors today, maybe some purples and some oranges. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do back my hair <laughs> cool and I think I'm going to attempt winged eyeliner today so you guys know what that means this is sticky tape if you hadn't guessed it <laughs> oh no I broke it okay so I need to concentrate really hard to make sure I get this even it's not as easy as it looks guys now the next step as usual is to prime my eyes so I'm going to use my Mac soft ochre paint pot on a Sigma Precision Angled P84 brush. You guys have seen me do this in pretty much every tutorial, so we can just skip through this. Okay, so eyes are primed. Now I'm just gonna set that a little bit with the Hello Flawless Benefit Powder. This one is in the shade Honey. And I'm just gonna take some of this on my Real Techniques brush and pat it on. Okay, now we can go in with eyeshadow. I say okay way too much. You guys can make it into a drinking game. Now we're going to go in with eyeshadow and I'm going to take Puree just on a Sigma E40 brush. And we're going to use this as our transition color. Whoa! That is pigmented. Wasn't expecting that. Okay. Just blend it out, guys. Just blend it out. Gosh, it's our first eyeshadow and I've already made a mess. This tutorial is off to a great start. <laughs> Next up, I'm going to take Summer Yum on a smaller blending brush. This is the Sigma E25. And then I'm just going to blend this into my crease as well for some more definition. Oh my god, I just realized I should probably zoom you guys in. Can you even see back there? So next, I think I'm going to take Bellini. Bellini? Actually, first I'm going to wet my brush just with some of the Urban Decay setting spray. And now I'm going to go in with Bellini and I'm going to pack this onto the first half of my eyelid. Ooh, this color is really pretty. I like this. Next up, I'm going to take a clean flat shader brush and I'm going to go in with the color Delectable if my camera wants to focus, thank you. And I'm just going to pack this onto the outer half of my eyelid and sort of blend it into Bellini where it meets in the middle. So I'm just going to pack some more on to deepen up that color. So now that my eyeshadow represents my life, a mess, we're going to go in with a blending brush and just blend it out. Next, I'm going to take the shade Talk Derby to me, this one in the corner, and I'm just going to take that on another blending brush. I'm going to blend this into my outer V just to really smoke out this look. I'm making a giant mess on this table. <laughs> so I had no idea what kind of look I was filming today with this palette, but I'm actually really liking how it's turning out. Hopefully I don't screw it up when I do eyeliner. Touch wood. <laughs> then the last eyeshadow I'm going to use for now is Nectar. And, oh, you can't see. Nectar. And I'm just going to use this as my brow bone highlight. Damn it. I keep forgetting how pigmented these eyeshadows are. <laughs> now for the tricky part. So I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner on a small angle brush by Sigma. And I'm going to draw on some winged liner. I will be very upset if I ruin this. So now I'm going to... Oh my god, I forgot to get mascara. So now I'm going to go in with mascara. 
Today I'm just going to use the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara. And for lashes, I'm going to use the Coco Lashes in Marilyn. I'm obsessed with these right now. If I can open the packet. Oh, there we go. <laughs> well, I stuffed that up, didn't I? Sweet, eyelashes are on. We can remove the sticky tape. If I can get it off. Okay, what's going on, cat? There we go. No, there we go. Love it. Do have a little bit of fallout to clean up. So I'm just going to take my brand new bottle of Garnier Micellar Water and a tissue and clean up this fallout. There we go. Now for our base, I'm going to start off with the Body Shop Wonder Blur Primer. And I'm just going to work this in. I put way too much on my finger. That was a waste. And then I'm just going to rub this in. This stuff smells really good. Then for foundation today, I'm sort of like between colours. So I'm going to try and mix the Born This Way foundation in light beige and warm beige. And hope for the best. Man, I really need to get a new beauty blender, but they're like 20 bucks each. Ooh, that worked quite well. So my face has sort of switched breakout sides. Like I used to just break out on this side and now I'm only breaking out on this side. What's going on face? Why are you doing this to me? Now for concealer, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in light. And I'm just gonna use this to hide my dark circles and to highlight. Then my forehead, Cupid's bow, and chin. Now we just want to go blend that out again. I really need a new concealer. All I ever use is this Maybelline one and my MAC Pro Longwear. What do you guys recommend? I need to switch it up a bit. Okay, now that that's all blended, I'm going to take... What am I going to take? I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this yellow shade and this vanilla shade from the NYX highlight and contour pro palette just sort of mix them together a bit oh is that shimmery and then I'm just gonna pat this on everywhere we put the concealer to set it yeah that was shimmery okay don't use that one <laughs> instead I'm gonna take the yellow shade and this shade and mix them together and then pat it on we're just gonna have a bit of an intense highlight today <laughs> Okay, so to set the rest of my face, I'm just going to use that Benefit powder from before on a Sigma powder brush. Next up, we want to contour. So I'm going to take this brown shade right here on a Sigma small contour brush and use it to contour... Why did I do that? Okay. And I'm going to use it to contour under my cheekbones. Just blend that out. <laughs> this tutorial is like such a hot mess. Oh my god, okay. There we go, that's better. So I'm going to use this colour to contour my cheekbones and under my jawline as well. And I'm just going to put some of this up into my hairline as well. Now I'm going to go in with blush. So the blush I'm going to use today is the Physicians Formula Rose Blush. So I'm just going to take some of this on a Sigma F40 brush and brush this onto my cheeks. Ooh, this is pretty. Then for highlighter, I'm going to use the Too Faced Candlelight Glow in Warm Glow, but I'm only going to use this lighter shade today. So I'm just taking this on a Sigma F03 brush and I'm going to brush this onto the tops of my cheekbones. Then I'm also going to put this down the center of my face too. I might contour my nose today as well. Okay, so I'm just going to grab that bronzer again on a Sigma E25 brush and use this to contour my nose. I never contour my nose like in person. I only do it for the camera because I feel like my nose looks big on the camera, but in person it doesn't. Oh well. First world problems, hey? For our lower lash line, I'm going to start off by taking puree again on a pencil brush and just smudging this in. You only want to take this to about three quarters of the way in. 
Then I'm gonna take an angled liner brush in the shade Delectable and I'm just gonna smudge this in right into my eyelashes. And then for my tight line, I'm just going to line it with a black coal pencil. This is the Lasting Drama Gel 24 Hour Gel Pencil by Maybelline. And then for my waterline, I'm going to take the Mr. Right Now Eyeliner Pencil in Scott by The Balm. This is just like a nice plummy purpley color to match our eyeshadow. And to finish off our eyes, obviously we want to go in with some mascara on our lower lashes. Didn't forget this time. Now onto eyebrows. I'm going to fill them in with my usual Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony. You guys have seen me do this so many times before, so I think I'm just going to like skip through it. If you do want to see how I fill in my eyebrows, I'll link my eyebrow routine in the card section and in the description box below. Okay, I'm going to be real with you guys. I really want to pair this with a nude lip, but I feel like that's all I ever do when I do bold eyes. So we're going to try something different and hope it works out. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with a lip liner because I've sort of got foundation lips going on right now. So the one I'm using is Miraness Auto Lip Liner Duet in Crazy Coco. So I'm just going to take the lighter end and draw on my lips. Ooh, I feel like this look would look really nice with like a light pink, but we're going for something different. So I'm going to take the Rimmel Lasting Finish Lipstick in 32. This is like a peachy color, so hopefully it looks good. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. I really like it. I'm actually really surprised at how good this turned out. This palette is amazing. Oh my god, I was not expecting these eyeshadows to be so pigmented. I'm pretty sure these are even more pigmented than the chocolate bar palette. So if you're thinking of getting this, I highly, highly recommend it. It's amazing. So as usual, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.